Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School of Business. And with me today, I've got Healy Seifer, who is the founder and CEO of Oak Labs. And I've also got Charles Pensig, who is the principal data scientist at uh, Oak Labs. Welcome, both of you guys. Thanks. So, Healy, um, you are in the business of retail. And, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of people, myself included, are not very optimistic about the future of bricks and mortar retail. And a lot of people have even gone so far as to say that bricks and mortar retail is, is dead, um, and all of our efforts should be focused on online retail. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? Do you think that's right? Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll return to the question. So, uh, I would say that single channel commerce is absolutely dead. Think about some of the greatest e-com brands that you could think of, like Fab.com, Guilt Group, One King's Lane. Oh, not doing so hot, those are e-com. Mm -hmm. Okay, Radio Shack, Circuit City. Ooh. But the companies that are doing great, well, what about Warby Parker, Bonobos? How do you know they're doing really well? They've graduated past just online brand. What do they start doing? Opening up stores. Yeah. And so I think what's, what you are touching on is a very important truth about the industry, which is historically, as a, as a retailer, to compete, you competed on three orthogonals. Proximity, selection, price. Big stores, a lot of stuff, great deals. And now, that is where, in a post-Amazon era, they got you skunked. They're going to beat you every time. So today, you know, my assessment, of course, is we are competing on experience, on service, and on urgency. You want to go in to have an immersive, theatrical, or immediate satisfaction experience, and that's how you're going to win. It might be smaller footprints. It might be DC-oriented. Retail is going to change a ton. It's not going to go away. But if, uh, if you're going to provide that kind of experience, then you really have to get to know the customer better, right? And so the problem with a lot of bricks and mortar retailers is they just kind of don't know their customers, either in aggregate or, or at the individual level. And so, so how, do, how do these uh, retailers, uh, you know, get to know the customer? Is, the, is all of that data going to be captured through, the, um, through online channels, or can you also kind of capture data through the, the retail channels, oh, the, the bricks and mortar channels? It's such a good question. And I think uh, like, there's a myth out there. And that myth is that online has better data than the physical world. The irony is it's just the complete opposite. The physical world has all the shades of gray between the blacks and whites, the binaries you capture online. It's just a very under-instrumented reality. But if you start to get active and passive data collection tools in stores, you know a tremendous amount of things. Like for example, so we have one of our products we call the Oak Mirror. Um, we launched with Ralph Lauren and the way it works is you walk into a fitting room, the mirror itself comes alive. It sees all the stuff you brought into the fitting room. And you can request other sizes, colors, change the lighting, change the language, check out. It's got everything you could possibly want to do to engage with an associate and with a product in the store. The real benefit of that is, yes, ROI is great, engagement is great. It's the data you get out of it is insane. So how is it that you, how do you make sense of all this data? How do you uh, create value for your clients using that data? That is a great question way above my pay grade. So for this, I'd love to pull in Charles, who's my principal data scientist. All right, so Charles, now we have you. Uh, how could you answer that question? What is Oak Labs doing with this data to give value to their clients, to your clients? Yeah, definitely. So there are a couple of um, different levels at which we um, help inform our clients' business. Um, so the industry terms that I use are analytics and machine learning. Um, analytics is providing, um, using data to provide business context to make business decisions, not in real time. Um, so that is, uh, you know, at the corporate level, it helps people analyze uh, conversion rates across stores, um, store operations, time of service, time of delivery product, um, and uh, at the store level also. Um, but then there's also the machine learning that goes into the product, which uh, does things like um, real-time product rec recommendations, or uh, you know, uh, we'll call it like high spender alerting. Uh, do, you, do you do all that stuff yourselves, or do you kind of uh, bring in uh, analytics as a service from other? Uh, service providers and then um, uh, know, so we're, merge we're, that with what you do. We're, we're currently rolling our own. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, we manage the entire code base in the product. All right, well, thanks, Charles, and thanks, uh, Healy. Good to have you guys in here. Thank you.